Uh, as I was saying there, the Islamic State group has now come forward to claim a responsibility with their African uh, counterparts, the Allied Democratic Forces, having been earlier accused. Are you in any way surprised by these uh, claims of responsibility? No. Uh, the, in fact, ADF has affiliated itself with the Islamic State, and the Islamic State doesn't have a lot of ability to act in that region, so they're very happy to be able to take credit, if by affiliation, for what's happened. But according to the UN, the ADF actually commands itself. In fact, what we've got is a movement that's on the run and committing these acts of butchery in order to survive. The ADF is one of the deadliest of more than 120 armed groups in this particular pocket of the uh, DRC. If we take a closer look at this group, what more do we know about their strategy, their structure, and what they're aiming for? Yeah, so this was originally an Ugandan group, and they were chased out of that country, uh, and they fled in, across the mountain range into the Congo in a, an effort to survive and continue their front. Well, the, the Ugandan troops got the authorization to come and chase them in the Congo. And this has been what's decisive, because the Ugandan troops used air power, they had armored vehicles, and they were pushing them out of the North Kivo region. So this effort, this strategy, is simply pure survival. They attacked a church that is fine, but there's lots of churches being attacked even by armed forces. What matters the most is they're sending a message that uh, they are not defeated, that they are not crushed. And that's for the Ugandans, the message, more than for the continent. Just on, on that point, should we be making anything of the fact that a church and a Pentecostal church was targeted? Well, in the sense that they have identified with the Islamic State, most of the militia are uh, Islamic are Muslims, yes, but not in the sense that this is the beginning of a wave of Islamic terror. That uh, The fact is, is that the Congolese armed forces have been accused of attacking hundreds of churches this year, and they're not Islamic. Churches simply are full of innocent civilians, and they're choosing the softest, easiest uh, targets, uh, people who won't fight back, people who die, and it's truly a tragedy. These poor people who were killed had nothing to do with this. We've already heard uh, words of condemnation coming from the, the president of the, the DRC. Um, but this is a, bit, a, a corner of the DRC which is proving difficult for the government, for authorities to control and to, and to, to make secure. Yeah, the Ruanziri mountain chains stand between Uganda, uh, Rwanda, uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. It has everything that guerrillas need in addition to an economy of war. This group, the ADF, lives on contraband, on smuggling coffee, on smuggling wood, on smuggling gold. And that region is able, therefore, to fund these movements. They don't need external support, and it's proven impossible, 20 years of UN missions.